As we mentioned in class, we do our projects, our assignments on two platforms, on Windows, Visual Studio, and then move them to Matrix, that is a Linux environment, and then test and submit it over, over uh, our, to our professor using the Linux environment. Now, how to move files from your local computer to another computer on internet? <coughs> the Linux computer is Matrix. For that, you need an FTP client. An FTP client uh, uses file transfer protocol to move files from one location to another. Again, open a browser. In the browser, look for the name WinSCP. WinSCP. WinSCP is a uh, uh, is an uh, FTP client that is free. Of course, you can always donate. If you can, if you have the money, please donate because these freewares people write it. They're very useful, and uh, uh, by donating, you're helping them to make this uh, even better. Anyways, so let's do the the installation. After opening the the page, you don't need to go through all the things that you see. Um, just scroll down. And you will see over here you can obtain Windows Sierra from download page. So click on this. That takes you to download page. These two are advertisement. Do not click on them. That's not when when SCP. You don't want to download that. Scroll down and over here you're gonna see this green button says download when SCP. Click on that one. And after a moment the download will begin. As soon as the download is complete, click on it. Click yes, you want it to, to install. Just click accept and keep going. And install. After installation, you're going to have Win CSP installed, uh, SCP installed on your computer. Right, so I'm just gonna remove these two. I'm just gonna finish. Don't forget, if you can donate, donate to these people because they uh, create this freeware and it's very useful. So let's run WinSCP. WinSCP. And when you open it, it asks you for a, for a host. The host that you are going to uh, upload stuff into is Matrix. So type over here Matrix. Seneca College .ca. You can put your username over here. If you don't put your username and just run, it's going to ask you, uh, prompt you. But if you put it in here and save it, then you don't have to do it over and over. So, far that silly man do, and my password, and click on login. Uh, this is uh, the message that you get from Windows you just you can say don't show it you just click continue <clears throat> and it logs in so at left side over here you have local computer at right side we have matrix okay so I'm gonna go to IPC 144 let's say the demo program that I created that was my C. I want to run that I have a demo directory over here I'm gonna go into that one uh, I'm just going to put it at the root, not IPC144. Now, to move this file over here, you can just drag and drop. But remember, there is one thing that you have to always remember. Moving files from Windows to Linux, you have to always mention that they are text. Your programs are always text. So use text method for transfer. Drag and drop and that brings my prog.c into matrix so now you have your file on matrix and you can open it with your terminal client and do whatever you want to do with it